So here we are in the forests of Yamagata. Autumn is the perfect time to go mushroom hunting. This place, Yamagata, is only three hours away by Shinkansen from Tokyo. You think you know mushrooms until you come to Japan. There are so many kinds of edible mushrooms here, many quite unusual. So what are they? How do you eat them? From the forest, the farm, and the supermarket to the table. We'll fill our basket, deep fry them as tempura in this ultimate Japanese mushroom adventure. So I hope you enjoy this mushroom guide. We started in the early morning. So we're descending deep into the forests of Yamagata, not that far from Zhao. And uh, you can see this is not an established path, but I have a good feeling we're gonna be finding some really tasty mushrooms in here. Where exactly is here? This area of Japan is called Tohoku, located on the north end of Japan's main island. Yamagata is on the Sea of Japan side, about a three-hour Shinkansen ride from Tokyo. I started this journey at Yamagata Station, accessible with the JR East Welcome Rail Pass, which gives me three days of unlimited travel around Tohoku. From Yamagata Station, we drove about 30 minutes into the forests, which surround the city. The location recommended is here, between the city and Zhao Onsen. We'll gather what we can find and eat them at a log cabin in the Nishizao pasture, which looks like this. But first, we have to get through this and find our lunch. It's as hard as it looks. There are no paths here, just vegetation, and mushroom experts know exactly where to look. They come back here every few days to spots they know where certain mushroom varieties grow. We found our first edible mushrooms here, Nameko. Further into the forest, we found some large flat mushrooms called mukitake. This is Sato-san, a professional mushroom hunter and expert in fungi. It's advisable to come with a guide so you don't eat something that's poisonous. There's some of that in here too. You'll find the mushrooms on tree trunks, fallen limbs, cracks in the vegetation, and on the earth floor. Just watch where you step. There are so many colors and shapes, like this one in here. Oh, hi. It was hard to miss it because the color was so unique. It's a lavender purple color. It's an edible variety called Murasaki Shimeji. Oh, other mushroom hunters share their findings. There's also a lot of competition out here. It's good to move fast and keep mushroom spots a secret, or someone else might grab them in a week or so when they grow back. We put all the mushrooms we found together. It's quite a lot. Mindful not to take more than we needed. There's a lot of mushrooms out here, but what about at the supermarket? 
I went to a few of my local shops to see what they had available. In total, I found 15 different varieties. When I came to Japan more than 20 years ago, seeing so many varieties of mushrooms was mind-boggling. I had no idea how to eat them. The Incredible Japanese Mushroom Supermarket Guide These pinkish red mushrooms are masutake. To be honest, I don't know how these can be eaten, but they're colorful and available in late autumn. Maitake is translated as dancing mushroom. They're feathery looking and perfect as tempura or sauteed. Eringi, these are versatile, spongy, springy in the mouth. They're meaty when cooked, not much flavor raw. I like them grilled with butter or barbecued. Portabella. These mushrooms are very international and I see them a lot more and more in Japanese supermarkets. They're large and they can make a good burger when eaten whole. Shimofuri Hiratake. It's a new type of farmed mushroom produced through the crossbreeding of European and Japanese hiratake. Shirofumi means marbling. Chewy texture, great in soup and stir fries. Kuro awabitake. It's a black abalone mushroom that has a flat fan-like cap used in stir fries and soups. Kind of hard and almost crunchy in the mouth. Matsutake, the diamond of mushrooms in Japan. Usually quite expensive, they're often steamed with rice for their spicy, aromatic odor. High-grade matsutake can cost as much as $1,000 per kilogram. Enoki, these little guys are springy and chewy in the mouth. Great in miso soup, nabemono, stir-fries, and sometimes wrapped and grilled with bacon and cheese. Bunashimeji. In the wild, they have a strong bitterness, but when farmed, they're mild used in pastas, salads, and even as a cure for hangovers. Hanabiratake, or cauliflower mushroom. It's known for its medicinal powers and even nicknamed the immune mushroom. A chemical found in it is also used in cancer-curing drugs, great fried, and in soups. Kakinokitake, or persimmon tree mushroom, is great in miso soup, pasta, tempura, or hot pots. Nameko is another mushroom found farmed year-round, but also easy to find in forests, a staple of miso soup. It has a slight nutty taste. Shitake. This is one of my favorites farmed year-round. It's great sliced and in Japanese cuisine like in tofu, but I love them grilled with meat and a little soy sauce. Namakikurage. These are also called woodier mushrooms, and I see them a lot in ramen. They're pleasantly soft, but break apart well when bitten. They look like shriveled up ears, but don't worry, they can't hear you talking about them. There's all that I can find at the supermarket. I'll have a fridge full of mushrooms for the next few days. If you're not sure what to do with them, make a nabe hot pot. It's perfect in the fall or winter to stay warm. It was time to cook what we found. Sato-san had several dishes prepared, tempura being a popular one. Wash them well and cook them, but again, make sure you have an expert with you to make sure they're safe to eat. Butter yaki. Cooking the mushrooms in butter is also quite popular and delicious. Miso soup as well. The taste of freshly picked and cooked mushrooms in the fall is fantastic. The butter yaki and tempura are perfect after a day of hiking or mushroom hunting. Kinoko is translated as mushroom. I asked Sato-san why she loves kinoko so much. A lot comes from cooking and discovering new ways to eat them. キノコこんなして食べれるのかなっていう結構意外性なところを私は今考えてるんですけども、やっぱり私もキノコ、大根おろしでもう絡んでとか、もうキノコ汁、まあキノコご飯、まあそれが言ってうん同じ味付けでし
失敗したらこれまくないねっていうのがまだ今のところちょっと見つかってない入れてないだからあ,あこういうふうにでも食べれるんだっていうのを今はい発掘してるところでまだまだ山に入ります。It's really interesting to see the mushrooms growing naturally in the forest up on the hills of Yamagata. So, for some contrast, I came here to a mushroom farm or factory where they're growing inside these white domes. The Mushroom Stand is a restaurant where you'll also find farmed mushrooms. Situated along a river among the hills, the weather is always cool and moist, perfect for mushrooms. I was guided to the mushroom houses by CEO Nagasawa san. Inside are tiered beds of soil filled with mushrooms. It takes about 14 days for them to mature and be picked for sale. They grow both brown and white mushrooms here. The size determines the price. You'll sometimes find jumbo mushrooms here, but most are normal sized. This organic mushroom farm harvests up to four tons of mushrooms daily. Since mushrooms go well with everything, even raw, they're increasing in popularity. The process takes 10 weeks from start to finish for the organic soil medium to start to grow the mushrooms, then to the harvest. I asked what his company does with the soil afterwards. So, what makes these mushrooms here different than the kinoko found in the wild? これは生で食べても旨味を感じるし、あの美味しさを楽しむことができる。これは一番特徴だと思うんですね。で、従って生で食べるということは水でも洗わない、そのまま食べるわけですから、安全をきちっと守ってあげないとダメなんですね。うん